Hi, everybody. It's Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, one tool or one effect in Premiere Elements you may have seen, but you may not be entirely clear on what it does or, or what it's used for, is something called the Garbage Mat. And the Garbage Mat is in the Keying collection of effects. And its main purpose is for cleaning up videos that you've applied the chroma key to. Now, I've got a picture here. This is the background we're going to swap in with our chroma key effect. And this is my key shot here. I'm going to drag it on down to video two on the timeline right above my background. And as you know, with chroma key or video merge or whatever effect you're using, when a keying effect is applied, this green screen or blue screen or whatever screen you're using behind your actor will become transparent and it will reveal what's on video track one. You can see all that in another tutorial I've created. But here we have a not uncommon issue. Our actor was posed in front of a green screen, but the green screen didn't cover the entire scene. You can see part of the studio behind him here. And if I were to apply a video merge to this video, I'll right click and apply that. There's video merge. You notice that the green screen becomes transparent, but this other stuff, this extraneous garbage remains. And so the main purpose of the garbage mat is to remove those extraneous pieces so that you can focus on removing only the green or only the blue screen from behind the actor. I'll show you how to do it. Let's Control-Z or Command-Z to undo what we just did here. If I go to the Effects panel over here on the right, open up FX, and then go down here to the Keying collection of effects, you see we have actually a number of garbage mats. There's the four point. That means it's controlled by four points, one on each corner, an eight point garbage mat, all the way up to the much more complicated 16 point garbage mat. If I drag the four point garbage mat down onto my video clip that's on video track two, that's the key shot, you notice that it cuts away part of the edge of the video. Now I can control these four corners that define the mat by changing these numbers here in the applied effects panel or by clicking and dragging to scrub across to change them. But the most intuitive way to use a garbage mat is to click on its listing here in Applied Effects. And when you do, you might notice that each corner then of your garbage mat up to 16, depending on which garbage mat you're using, but each corner can be manipulated right here in the monitor panel. So you notice it's got a little circle with a cross in it. And that little cross here, I can drag that into position. And what I want to do is I want to remove that garbage from outside of my key, outside of my green screen, so that only the green screen remains. There we go. So we got rid of the garbage with the garbage mat. We can see the real background we want to use behind our actor. Now, of course, I want to scrub through this, drag my playhead through here, and make sure the actor never steps outside of the area that I've cut off. If he were to reach his arm out there or something, it would mess up my whole shot. But in this case, he's pretty much stationary through the whole shot. So not a problem there. He's within the green screen. And now all I need to do is apply, again, my video merge by right-clicking, selecting clip, video merge or apply video merge and that gets rid of the green screen but look what happened it also got rid of my garbage mat that's because of the order they appear here in the applied effects panel the video merge has to appear before the four point garbage mat in order to pull this effect off so all i need to do is grab the video merge listing here in applied effects drag it up one place so it comes before four point garbage mat and there's my perfect picture none of that extraneous garbage is around the outside the uh, video merge has taken care of the green screen and now my actor appears in his new background perfect shot the garbage mat as i say its main purpose here is to clean up the garbage that's interfering with your green screen composition now, if you want to know more of these tips and tricks, be sure and check out the many tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about Adobe Premiere Elements, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com, and I'm the author. I'm Steve Grisetti. Hope to see you at MoviePix. Take care.